it's Josie here. Welcome back to my channel, Functionally Flawless. Um, thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to be decorating for Christmas, my favorite. I love decorating for Christmas. I love Christmas time in general. I've always had since I was a child. So I'm really excited. Finally got all my decor down and my trees up. So I'm gonna be taking you along with me while I set things up. We are going to be doing the living room, a little bit in the kitchen maybe, and my entryway. I can't wait to show you guys what I have planned. Um, I'm going to be showing you what we did with my daughter's room. I'll kind of give you a sneak peek on what's going on in there. We already decorated it together. It was really cute, really good bonding experience, so I hope to make that a tradition. If you enjoy interior design, or decor or organization, pretty much anything creative, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more videos. But for now, let's get into this video. So this is before. Everything's kind of in disarray and out of place. I've just started decorating. Um, I did put that reindeer there just because um, but yeah, here we are. This is how it currently looks right now. Um, has some fall decor remnants left over, but I'm gonna clean it all out and get it Christmas ready. Um, I'm gonna try to replace this basket right here too. So I had purchased these for a different project, but since they're here, I'm gonna go ahead and use them. I think they will be perfect to hang my garland since I don't have a mantle. Trying to figure out where I want them placed. So I just stuffed my uh, garland in this basket and I'm trying to figure out how and where I want them. So as you can see, it's not going so well. Um, they're pretty thick and they started to fall off so I figured I would take them off wind them together and then try to put them up and voila this is what we have I twisted them together and it worked out pretty well they were able to stay together and stay on the hooks so that's a pretty good tip if you're using more than one garland at a time I purchased these bells at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to use those to decorate my garland. I decided against putting the gold basket there. Um, I'm going to stick with my black one, but right now I am just hanging up the gold bell garland on top of my garland that I already placed. This was much easier to do. I left the tag on for now just so I can figure out if this is how I want it and if I want it to stay. These are the vases I'm planning on using. Um, I split the stems that I have um, between all three. Uh, there's a white berry stem and then I think it's a spruce stem. Um, but I really love the white berry. Those are from Target and the spruce are from Hobby Lobby. I will try to link them below. The black will stay on my kitchen island and the white are probably going to go 
in my living room. Just placing these here to see how I like them. I bought these stocking hangers years and years and years ago. I think I got them from TJ Maxx. They're on clearance, so I don't know what brand they are. Um, I'll try to link something similar. I purchased this black stocking from walmart.com. I was planning to buy two, but they were out of stock, so I only got one, hoping one would come back into stock. But long story short, I'll be replacing the small stocking to the left with another black one that I found on Etsy. I bought these candles as a set. They are electronic. Um, perfectly safe for if you have young children. Um, I'm probably going to put these on my coffee table. I also decided to keep my glass pumpkin there. It's still November at this time, so I figure why not. This I purchased about a year ago from Target. It's a very cute advent calendar. I put it on the wall pretty low so my daughter can reach it. This is where one tree is going to stay. Um, this is near my entryway and it's like the perfect little corner for it, so. Purchased this tree from Walmart. It was super cheap. I figured why not and it just turned out to be really great. Clearly I need to fluff it, um, but that will be done. <laughs> So these are the ornaments I plan on using on this tree. It is black, so I'm going with lighter, neutral colors, things that will look good on black. Those I made last year going for a concrete look. These are one of my favorites. I got those at TJ Maxx, and these white ones I purchased at Target. These ones I use for our mini tree, but I'm definitely repurposing them. And then these are from CB2. They say hope, joy. They're super cute. And then I have some gold ones. This is one of my favorite ornaments. Unfortunately, I only have one. They are all sold out. I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. It's the Robert Stanley collection. So if you um, find these at your local store, grab them. So this is the finished product for now. I added some marble ornaments that I made. I'll be posting a DIY video on those shortly. Um, but here it is. I may or may not add a garland. I don't know. Let me know if I should. But here is the finished look for now. Okay, back to the living room. I originally got this wreath to hang in my kitchen, 
but it was so huge it wouldn't fit so I figured why not put it in front of a window so here I'm just attaching it with some black velvet wire and now for this corner in my living room I'm probably gonna put some baskets right here in that console table that fit perfectly and probably some more baskets below maybe some ottomans um, but yeah this is what it's looking like so far So I'm going to decorate the top of this. I have some brass trees from Target. I'm going to put those on there and I'm probably going to put my nativity scene somewhere on there. I decided that this would probably be a better place for this gold basket. I think I like it. What do you guys think? up of the nativity scene it is off-white and gold ceramic so I'm about to start decorating the tree in my living room and this is what I'm gonna start with first these are some stems that I cut up into smaller pieces I'm probably just gonna use the white this year Next, we're going to start decorating the tree in my living room. I have these mini gold and satin ornaments that I'm going to start with. These are just a variety of the different ornaments I'm going to be using. Um, nothing new. I used them last year, but I'm going to be sticking more with a black and white theme, so not a whole bunch of rose gold like I did last year. These roses are one of my faves. So this is what the tree is looking like so far. Lots of neutrals. Last year I did a lot of a lot more rose gold. This year not so much. I'm trying to stay more neutral, more black and white. But so far so good. I think I'm liking it. I also picked up this super cute tree topper from CD2. Here I am trying to figure out a way to put this super heavy tree topper. I mean it's heavy so it's good quality but not that functional because it's so heavy it kind of tips over. So it was kind of tricky to get on. So I finally got it on and this is what it's looking like. I love. So back to the entryway, I purchased these mini trees from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be putting those on either side of my door. I picked these up from Ikea to kind of house them because I wasn't a fan of the burlap. So here's what they're looking like. I probably need to cover the burlap with some moss or something, but for now, this will do. So here I'm just decorating my console table in my entryway. I didn't end up using the pompous. I opted for a fall stem that I had already, so you'll see the end product. So this is what I ended up going for. 
I just felt like it looked better and I mean it's still November at this point so it works. Here are some clips of my daughter's tree in her room. We already decorated it together but I just wanted to show you what we did. It was really nice to do this together. Hopefully we can make it a tradition. It's a pink and white ombre tree. I will link it below. And then I just added some angel lights because it wasn't a light tree. And this is the finished project. I hope you guys enjoyed. enjoyed this video um, I hope it inspired you I hope it gave you some great ideas and let me know what you liked what you disliked if you have any suggestions I'm all for feedback um, and if you like this type of video let me know so I can make more but I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I want to thank you for giving me your time and I hope you guys have a happy holiday thank you Bye-bye.